Harnessing the power of the wind, this tiny region generates more electricity from wind power than big EU countries like France or Poland. Everywhere you look in Navarra, windmills, over 1,000 of them, like a forest of the future. 80 meters above ground, we got a privileged view into the heart of the machine and beyond. From this control center, the windmills can be turned on and off at the click of a mouse, not just in Spain, but as far as South Korea. When it comes to renewable energy, companies based in Navarra are world leaders. We are going to invest a lot of, a lot of money in, in renewables in the world because we, we are convinced that this is a really, really, really a sector, a relevant sector for the future. Most people here agree that renewable energy is the way to go. But local environmental activists say it's already gone far enough. Of course we're in favor of renewable energies, but they've just placed so many wind power stations and not in the right places. We now don't even recognize our landscape. Navarra's goal is now shifting from wind power, where government subsidies are gradually decreasing, to solar energy. Most schools in the regional capital, Pamplona, now have their very own solar panel. Every day the children learn how much electricity they've fed into the grid and how to save more energy. We are reducing carbon dioxide emissions and I'm, I'm thinking that it's good to do other things like recycling or save water. Many in Navarra have come to see energy as their business. This solar park, the size of 50 football pitches, is a co-op with over 700 individual owners. With support from the local government and a little help from the sun, it's an investment for the future. If EU leaders agree, then places like this could spring up all over Europe. Those who want binding targets for renewables say it's the only way to lower our carbon emissions and lessen our dependency on imported oil and gas. Juan Arunjescu, BBC News in Navarra, Northern Spain.